So I did not do a essential oil of the day. Instead, with it being spring and coming into summer, I decided to do a few things to help keep insects and other pests away from your home. These will be plants and or essential oils that you can get and just put around your home. The essential oils, of course, you can spray everywhere. You can use them in your laundry and, you know, have them washed into your clothes. You can use the majority of them, almost pretty much all of these, in your lotions. But also, you can get the plants themselves and put them around your home and inside your home. This is going to help keep the insects out and away, even mice and things of that nature as well. Okay? So, again, this is going to be how to keep insects and pests away from your home. All right, so number one on this list is going to be peppermint. Peppermint plant, peppermint essential oil. Get both. Peppermint to us, humans, smells really good. It's minty. For whatever reason, insects and mice do not like it. It's irritating. They avoid it. So, get you some peppermint. If you have a garden, add some peppermint to your garden. Add some spearmint if you're going to eat it. I think spearmint is the, the natural. And then peppermint is the hybrid. So get you some peppermint and get you some spearmint. Add that to your garden. Those are also plants that you can just have inside your home. I have peppermint inside my home. Doesn't Unless you get a lot of it, it doesn't really give off that strong of a smell to us. Unless you cut it or, you know, something like that. But again, to insects, they hate it for whatever reason. So get you some peppermint plant and peppermint essential oil definitely want it next is going to be lavender both the plant and the essential oil lavender lavender is a really nice plant to look at strong purples there's a few different varieties for you to choose from get a few different ones lavender essential oil has a lot of great properties and things that you can use it for it helps your children fall asleep I know this for sure. I have two smaller children, now five and six. And when I have them, lavender is one of those calming oils that 10 at night, they're still bouncing off the wall. You can put that lavender right on their forehead because it, it's, it, it's, it, it's not bad on the skin. Or you can rub some right on their t-shirt right up under their nose. It's going to calm them. I've seen it. I've done it. So lavender oil, lavender essential oil, and lavender plant. It's beautiful. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give you a, a nice scene inside and outside your home. So get some lavender. Basil. I have no idea why insects and mice hate these things because I love them. Basil tastes amazing in your, in your salad. It's really good for you. But for whatever reason, it runs off insects and it runs off mice. So get you some basil. Marigold, the plant. Marigold. African marigold. You can get African marigold and just, I would, I would do a, a full wall around my home with marigold. This is the golden looking plant it look it's it's like orange and yellowish you can get you can get it from orange to yellow so they come in, in a lot of varieties they have a little bit of a scent but again it's it's one of those plants that for whatever reason insects do not like them i do not know why they're beautiful and we think it smells good so get you some marigold right from menards or home depot They'll have, if they don't have it now, they will soon. And cost efficient, definitely. Not expensive at all. Get a bunch of them. Those are primarily, the marigolds are primarily for outdoors. Okay. So those are a few items that I strongly suggest you pick up for your home, for your family. And we will return here in a second with the food of the day. 
So what exactly is nutrition? And with everything going on currently, how do I find the best nutrients for me? The Natural Branches Health Store has a variety of CMOS products packed with minerals, nutrients, and vitamins that can restore your health inside and out. From healthy blood to healthy skin, the Natural Branches Health Store is a great place to find organic teas, herbs, CMOS, and even vegan catering. I mean, you are what you eat, right? Why not eat to live? Visit thenaturalbranches.com to learn more about their products and vegan catering menu. Shop online for catering and delivery in Chicago and outlying cities, including Indiana and Wisconsin. Fill your body with premium nutrients. The Natural Branches Health Store. God's food for your God body. All right, so for today's food of the day, I'm going to stick with the melons. So last week we did cantaloupe as the fruit of the day or food of the day. Today, it's going to be watermelon. Watermelon with seeds. You want, if you can find watermelon with the seeds, that is what you want. Watermelon. I told you last week that I have my own accent. So it's going to be watermelon. Watermelon. You know what I'm talking about. It's green on the outside, plush red on the inside, dark black seeds. Guess what? All my life I was told that the seeds were bad for you. Don't eat the seeds. Don't swallow the seeds. Well, that is a myth. That is incorrect. That is false. Not the reality of the matter. The reality of the matter is the seeds are healthy. They're good for you. Eat the seeds. You don't have to eat all of them, but you don't have to spit all of them out either. Eat them seeds. They're good for you. They are highly nutritious. You can eat them just like they are, or you can boil them in some water and drink the water. Add it to your tea or something like that. Watermelon and the watermelon seeds are highly nutritious for you. So, again, I strongly advise that you start eating those seeds. What is it about the watermelon? Watermelon is one of your highest alkaline fruits. I mean, it's mostly water. That's why it's called watermelon. Literally, it's it's mostly water. It's just flesh with, with water soaked into it. It is going to keep you hydrated. If you have student athletes and summer is coming in, if if they're able to participate in sports over the summer, watermelon. You want to keep some watermelon for them. Have it, have it at the game. You know, they come out, they're panting, they need something, or they're hungry right after the game, right before the game. Give them a slice of watermelon. It is great for your hydration, okay? Great for you. Uh, reduces high blood pressure, reduces heart disease risk, reduce blood sugar level. Water content, 92%. It's 92% water. Watermelon is going to boost your immune system. It strengthens your bones. It produces energy. Again, this is one of the ultimate snacks for athletes. You want to have some watermelon before, during, and after. I mean, don't, don't eat the whole watermelon, but, you know, have you a slice, okay? It is going to cleanse the kidneys. Watermelon can fight cancers, okay? This is the power of the almighty watermelon, okay? Watermelon improves circulation. Please, please, please start to understand and study your body. You get one. This is the one you get. It is important. You want the circulation inside of your body to be at its best. Circulation, by that I mean your, your blood circulation. You definitely want great blood circulation. This is one of the best ways to improve and enhance your blood circulation. Watermelon. Did you know that watermelon is a natural aphrodisiac? Yes. Eat more and more watermelon, fellas. 
this is going to be great for you. If you're over the age of 30 and you're starting to feel like your testosterone levels are dwindling down, you're not feeling the same levels of energy, you don't have that same get up and get down like you used to, put some watermelon into your life on an everyday basis. Again, I'm, I'm sorry, this stuff is not going to work if you eat it once, you know, once a month, once every now and then. You might flush out your system after you, after you use the bathroom, but this is this is what we should be eating on a regular basis. You eat bread every day. A lot of us eat bread every single day. Eat watermelon every day. Watermelon improves your eyesight. Uh, let's see here. Watermelon is a natural mood elevator. So just going to brighten your day, make you feel better. Promotes weight loss, mainly in your gut. It's going to help you get rid of all of that excess weight out of your gut. Okay? Because it's, it's primarily water. It's going to go through your entire system. It is going to help you flush out unnecessary everything. Watermelon soothes muscle soreness. Highly important for our athletes. Uh, let's see what else is here. Watermelon is a powerful antioxidant. You want that. Make sure that we are increasing our health by eating the right foods. You want watermelon with the seeds. Eat those seeds. My grandma used to tell me all the time, spit them seeds out. I'll crunch on them. I should have been crunching away. All right. That is all I have for you today. Love and peace, peace and love. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you for tuning in to a, another episode of the Winner's Circle Podcast. Be sure to visit my website. The link for you is going to be www.bigvoicewin.com. Again, that's www.bigvoicewyn.com. Be back next week. Have a good one.